All right, this video is long overdue. We're going to talk about how to set up your delegation and how to just become a delegate for ApeCoin. First of all, we're just going to go to ApeCoin.com. I'm going to go to delegate and then become a delegate. And right here, your delegate statement. Uh, this is where you would tell people about yourself or your delegation or why they should trust you with their, their votes or Perhaps if you have a particular person that's more engaged in the forums or active in the ApeCoin DAO Discord, this may be a good place to put in like their contact info so people can reach out, like authors. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put in here, trust me, bro. And the Twitter, like we're gonna go ahead and put in whatever your delegation's Twitter account is or the contact information perhaps of the person that's in charge of your delegation. So I'm just gonna put uh, mine, NFT Jerry and username in the forum, also NFT Jerry. And then I'm gonna go ahead and connect the wallet that we wanna use, MetaMask. And this is gonna be my hot wallet. All right, so I'm signed in here with my hot Jerry account. I only have one ape coin in here, but people will then in my delegation be able to delegate uh, their ape coin voting power to my wallet, this wallet right here, so that when a snapshot's taken, um, if somebody delegates 500 of their ape coin voting power to this wallet, this hotjerry.eth wallet, then I would be able to vote with that. Now, if, if they don't like the way that we're voting, uh, your delegation or whoever you decide to, to entrust, they can still override that individually per vote and just go vote for themselves. So just keep that in mind. There's not really a big reason to not uh, set up your delegation or to delegate to a group just because maybe you don't think that you're always going to completely agree. If you feel strongly enough about something, you can always override your delegation. So we're going to go ahead and submit this and we're going to sign to become a delegate. And that's pretty much it. So now I'm set up as a delegate and I'll show up under all of these other delegations that are here. And as you can see, uh, we have like Machi up here and Mochaverse, uh, Surreal Guild down here. If you want uh, an image like Surreal Guild has here, you would want to set up your ENS. So for instance, that Hot Jerry wallet does not have one set up as an image. So I can go to ENS. Uh, dot domains, go to the app, and then we're just going to go ahead and connect to this wallet because I have hotjerry.eth, as you can see. If you don't have an ENS, you should definitely set one up. It's one of the most powerful applications on all of Ethereum. I highly recommend it. It's beyond the, beyond the scope of this video, but uh, I can make another one of those if people would like to learn more about ENS. So we're just going to go ahead and go to my names. Uh, as you can see, we've got uh, Hot Jerry right here. And in order to add a, a, an image here, it used to be much more difficult, but we're just gonna click on edit profile. And then we're just gonna add uh, an NFT or upload an image. I'll just select an NFT. We're gonna pick one of these mad parrots from Chef Tali, save that, uh, open the wallet to sign. And it's as easy as that. It's gonna cost me a couple bucks. And now uh, when we go back to the ApeCoin delegation site, if we were to scroll all the way down, and it's gonna take a little while for this to update, but if we scroll all the way down, uh, that uh, that image will show up for uh, hotjerry.eth, like way, way down at the bottom, because as you know, there's only one ape coin in there. Um, so that's that's how you get started on apecoin. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, delegate.apecoin.com. How you actually decide to vote democratically within your delegation is up to you. Uh, larger delegations might use Snapshot and set up their own strategy on Snapshot. If you're on Discord, uh, just I use uh, sesh.fyi, um, which seems to work out really well for us for anonymous voting within Discord. Um, I highly recommend that one. We haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. And uh, I do recommend that each delegation um, Try and engage with somebody that's a little bit more active in uh, the forums and more knowledgeable, like an emissary that you can send out that will come back and, and report back to your delegation so that you have a more informed group. Um, if you guys feel like this video was helpful, please share it with for others. And uh, 
I mean, the more engaged delegations the DAO produces, the stronger we all are. So um, let's get the word out and try and get as many delegations participating as possible. I think that's, uh, that's the way forward. Have a great day.